Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fernag. Um, I am going to continue working on the piece from the previous video. And basically what I'm showing you here is the border part that I'm going to make it on both sides of my work, but um, it's going to be a smaller version of this piece that you see. Uh, basically, I'm going to make uh, the pattern that I'm showing you with all the small details and um, it's going to be beautiful. Um, as you see, I have um, prepared um, lots of uh, butterflies for my work and I'm going to use uh, lots of different colors. Um, here I have uh, two white uh, butterflies that I am going to count my work and divide my work. So I am going to count seven warps um, on both sides, both end of my work. And then whatever is in the middle, I'm going to uh, use the white color. In my last video, I called um, this beater a comb, which um, I'm going to correct it here. Um, a beater is different than a comb. Um, and uh, for me, uh, this gadget uh, works the best. Um, so now I am going to count um, four, uh, four warps to be able to create the leaf um, in the corner and then when I'm counting the numbers I have to be careful because you have to count on both sides because this work is all connected and you cannot just work on one side So I'm using uh, black um, as um, uh, the main background for my work and wherever I'm not using another color, I'll be using uh, black. And the beautiful pattern that you see um, in uh, Kurdistan uh, uh, region of Iran is very famous and it calls uh, Masi Derham. Um, if I want to translate it, it means mixed fish. Um, we are not like in Kurdistan region is not close to water, but I believe um, because there are beautiful fish in ocean and sea, that's why um, they call it this name. Um, anyway, right now I am trying to make the zigzag pattern um, on the side and um, I have to count three rows on each count to be able to create that. Like uh, you have to count your uh, rows uh, to be able to uh, make them all even.
And now I'm going to uh, repeat the same pattern um, on the right side um, of my work. Now, as you can see, I have um, I have to count on both sides of my work. Like you cannot ignore, like you cannot work on one side and then ignore the other side. And now I'm just uh, working with my colors and then I'm going to find the center of my work. I'm uh, checking my butterflies uh, for color. Um, I'm going to count seven warps and then do one row and then change it to five. And then uh, do one row of that color then pick five, um, like you can do the other side as well. And then pick five warps and use another color. As you can see, I'm going to start the, to cover this color with the main background, which is black, and then start my new pattern um, on on the on this color. Um, you know, English is my second language, almost third language, and um, it's very difficult for me to explain. So I hope my explanation is um, easy to understand but i'm showing you uh, very close up um, what uh, i'm doing i hope that is helpful
Um, I'm going to show you how, how I make my butterflies. So I'm counting um, three from the center and right beside it, I counted uh, three warps and I repeated on both sides. And as you can see, I am covering part of the white uh, with my main color, which is black. And I'm using um, red for the center. So I'm going to continue working with the black uh, to fill out the spots that I don't have, uh, I'm not using any other color. And over here, I'm going to um, continue uh, making the border part uh, by counting the warps, like I'm counting at first the two warps, uh, doing two rows and then uh, increasing it to five. And then for the center, I'm going to use um, 
another color so I do two rows and then use the uh, the other color to cover uh, the center color I have explained this part uh, in my other video how to uh, do the like triangle part by increasing and decreasing uh, the numbers so I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode um, there are a lot of terms uh, in weaving that uh, I don't know uh, I don't know them uh, but I will try my best to answer your questions if you have any questions and thank you for watching uh, my video uh, please um, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.